Hello my students, welcome to Appay ICT Panthia YouTube channel. Today I am going to do Grade 7 ICT Lesson 6 Presentation Software. And this is the first video related to this lesson. Before move to the video, please subscribe teacher's channel. Appay ICT Panthia is a free ICT class. In this channel, you can find all the ICT lessons in English medium and single medium. So, please follow channel playlist to find them. Now, let's continue our lesson. In your book, there is a little conversation. There are two boys. Teacher asked me to find informations on kingdoms of Sri Lanka and present to the class. A one little boy said, Teacher asked me to find information on kingdoms of Sri Lanka and present to the class. Then another boy replied, your presentation can be made fruitful and attractive if a presentation software is used. We have a presentation make attractive. Lesson to have done the long. We have presentation software can use Right. Let's see what's presentation software. Before presentation software, let's learn what's mean by presentation. Presentation. Presentation is a method used to communicate information and idea to a certain person or a group. It means giving an idea or giving some information to a person or a group. For giving information or idea to a person or a group, we can use different different presentation methods. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about electronic presentation. So, electronic presentation is a tool used to make a presentation attractive and fruitful. For example, electronic presentation is just like a book, not similarly like a book. Then, the computer said, an electronic presentation is just like a book but it is not totally similar so why do you say so let's see what's the differences between book and electronic presentation you know book is composed with different or number of pages as it is electronic presentation composed with slides when you turn pages in book, you can see what are the things inside the book. As it is, when you go up through slides, you can see what are the things include in your presentation. So, as it, in book, pages can be turned and in electronic presentation can move from slide to slide. In book, words, pictures are included in a book. In electronic presentation, words, pictures are included in slides. In book, videos, songs, links cannot be included in books. Lioness of them cannot be included to in books we cannot include live things to books but in electronic presentation there is a difference videos songs links can be included in a presentation liveness of them can be included in a book after book printed after book is printed, change in the content is difficult. 
we cannot change the content right but in electronic presentation even after presenting several times content of the presentation can be changed again and again so these are the similarities and dissimilarities of book and electronic presentation today there are different type of presentation softwares available in the market as your purpose you can choose any presentation software you know some softwares are freely or license free softwares and to use some softwares we have to pay so according to your need you can choose any payable or non-payable software so these are the examples of presentation software microsoft paint apple keynote open office impress coral presentation in this lesson, we are going to use Microsoft Office PowerPoint presentation software. Let's learn advantages in electronic presentation. In my screen, you can see teaching in normal way and teaching using a presentation. Let's compare these two pictures. What are the differences, right? Yes, teaching in normal way, you have to use many words. And if you are using presentation, no need of using many words because we can use different different pictures, videos to explain without using our words. More effort is needed to explain facts, but in using presentation, less effort to explain facts. Yes, the reason is. In presentations, we are using pictures, images, links, videos, uh, sounds. Therefore, we have to use less effort to explain the things. Then, uh, in teaching in normal way, more, ch more chances to change concentration of students. Yes, but... If we use electronic presentations, less chance to change the concentration of students because we can attract our students using pictures, animations, videos, and sounds. Next, more effort should be made to acquire knowledge. Yes, in the student side, when we teach in normal way by using word and back, uh, backboard, they have to use it means you have to use uh, more effort to acquire knowledge but if you use using electronic presentation and using uh, new no, new technology less effort to acquire facts because uh, you can gather more information by looking at a picture or video than our words let's open powerpoint software in your computer to do that go to your computer go to search bar and type powerpoint then you can see the software click on it to open the software this is the first working window you can see in your computer select blank presentation now i am going to show you how to create a new presentation you can use two ways to create a new presentation it means now you are working with the presentation and also you want to create another presentation you have to work through two presentations in this situation you can use a new presentation for that go to file and click new if not you can use the use a keyboard shortcut key it is ctrl plus n 
go to file and click new from here select blank presentation right your new presentation name is presentation 3 next how to open an existing presentation for that go to file and open if not use the keyboard shortcut key ctrl plus o go to file click on file and select open from here you can browse or you can select any existing of existing powerpoint presentation so i am using lesson for programming now i opened an existing presentation in my computer okay students then we identify basic features of presentation window this is the image i took from your textbook let's see these features are available in powerpoint presentation or not let's identify the basic features in powerpoint presentation so these are the tools home insert design transitions animations slideshow review view and those are the tools toolbar in powerpoint presentation and in the left side you can see the slides these are the slides and this is the slide pane where we are going to add images text and video and this is the place where we can took our notes let's save the powerpoint presentation to do that you can use different methods first method is go to file and click the save then choose any location to do that go to browse and i'm choosing the desktop then give a proper name and click the save button right now you can see the name change next method is you can use the keyboard shortcut key it is control plus s control plus x control plus s and if not you can use this quick access toolbar to save the presentation software now let's learn how to close powerpoint presentation to do that you have to go to right top corner in that corner you can see a cross mark by clicking this cross you can close the powerpoint presentation so in the today video we discussed about what is presentation what is what are the differences between presentation software and a book then advantages of electronic presentation then we started to work with powerpoint presentation software and we discussed the basic features of power uh, of powerpoint presentation window so In next video onward, we have to learn how to work in PowerPoint presentation. It means how to insert new slides, choose theme, then design in slides, insert in pictures, format in them likewise. So, keep watching my videos 
If this video is useful for you, please share this video with your friends and also put a comment. Then let's meet with the next video. Goodbye all of you.